Laura Anderson is the founder of Threshold Arts here in Rochester. She joins us now to talk a little bit about the events going on right now and some stuff is coming up. Welcome, Nora. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm still new to the area, so I was looking at some of the artwork, especially at the Chateau Theater. Yes. That, how are you involved with that? So Threshold Arts uh, is the operating partner for the city of Rochester. So the city okay. owns the building, and we have a contract with them to operate activities that take place in there. So everything from planning and hosting events to you know coming up with new activities and managing the, the calendar and and trying to bring as many people together in that space as we can. Are most of the artists from this area or are they from all over? So our, our artists that we work with are primarily from the Rochester area. So we do a number of things from um, managing the chateau, as I mentioned. Uh, we've got our retail storefront downtown, so we've got that space at uh, uh, just on 300 block of right. South Broadway. Uh, we've got about 50 local artists whose work we sell within that space and then a gallery uh, where we showcase artist exhibitions as well. And then we manage a number of different public art projects as well. So we work with artists from around the region to do murals and other art installations out in the community. I saw something was like a sensory garden. Yeah, we've got an that exhibition beautiful. right now. Lydia Hansen, it's called Sensory Sculpture Garden and it is art that is intended to be touched. So it's a, a variety of different um, textile works that are fiber artworks rather that are installed in the gallery that'll be up through the 12th of November but yeah I encourage folks to check that out and and not just look but touch you can actually yeah because I saw some I think it looked like yarn mm -hmm. or whatever it was yes. but it looked kind of cool yeah, it's really cool so what do you guys have coming up uh, for winter? I mean, it's getting cold, so I'm it's, thinking it might be too cold to touch anything. We are absolutely in the in the winter season. We've got, um, getting in the spirit for that, we've got a number of things going on at the Chateau. It'll all kind of kick off, um, you know, really the, the middle of middle of the month ah, we've got okay. um, weekends almost or events almost every weekend from you know wow. here throughout the end of the year everything from a number of different concerts we've got Dessa coming um, the same weekend as the Shabby Road Orchestra so a Beatles tribute band um, you know the night after a, right. a very well-known uh, Minnesota rapper um, with some local talent opening up for her as well so we've got a great lineup of concerts we've got some holiday programming in uh, late November and December. We've actually got a professional wrestling event coming on uh, November 11th. What's that going to look? Is that so the Chateau In theater? the Chateau, yeah. Yeah, so it's a wild, uh, <laughs> wide variety of events. Um, and, uh, you know, everything from um, events to um, w whether they're private hosting yeah, events. Uh -huh. We work a lot with the University of Minnesota Rochester hosting their student right, events in right. the space as well. Um, we just had a trunk or treat event, or not a trunk or treat, but rather a candy crawl event over the weekend. Um, we had about 700 people come through to, to get some candy bags and then wander around, <laughs> explore downtown and trick or treat at a number of different participating businesses there. So really trying to be this yeah. kind of hub for activity in the heart of downtown. And your stuff is this, not all the artists, they have their stuff at the Chateau Theater, which just celebrated their 96th anniversary of yeah. being around that long. 96th birthday of the building. We do have local artists work yeah. at the Chateau and a much, much greater selection at our storefront. Um, one great local artist event um, that really gets me into the holiday spirit is on December 2nd. It's a Saturday. We have our second annual winter market. So last year we oh. had 40 different vendors. Those are artists, food vendors. Um, we'll have some activities as well live music. Um, it's a really fun day of, of shopping, um, as local as you can get. So shopping from people who are making things um, with their own and two that's hands. this weekend? That is uh, December so 2nd. That's coming in so December that's coming 2nd. Up. Yep. Okay. So as far as that's, is there a fee for that? Or you just, you know, it's, it's free? It's a free event for Most the public to come in. And, free. Yeah, for that's the great. public to come in and, and shop and support local artists that way. So what else is coming up before we go to break? Is there anything that you want our audience to know? Uh, because you got a lot of stuff going on. Absolutely, we've got so much going on. We are um, really gearing up for our um, fall and winter event season. Okay. We are just completing the uh, long awaited restroom renovations at the Chateau. So those will be finished up within the next few weeks, um, just in time for those concerts to, to kick us off into the holiday season and mm -hmm. to get hopefully um, maybe booking a few more holiday parties. Okay. So we've still Great. got some space there as well. Thank you so much, Nora. I appreciate you coming by. Yeah.